Oh, Peter, that's an easy one. Uh, Mal Anderson from uh, from Queensland should 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 have been def definitely uh, acknowledged for his tennis achievements a long time ago. <laughs> Um, I'd like to tell some stories a little bit about Mal. Uh, <laughs> we travelled together a lot when we were young and he was my doubles partner for a, member, a number of years until he found someone better. <laughs> but uh, when we travelled overseas, um, we looked a little alike in those days. And when we hadn't seen people for... 12 months. We had all the trouble in the world of people coming up to me saying, hello, hello uh, Mal, how are you going? And rather than embra embra embarrass them and say, no, I'm Roy, not Mal, and vice versa, Mal had the same problem. So we said, okay, while we're here at the US Open, whoever comes up, let's just let it be Mal. <laughs> And so they'd come up and I'd talk and I'm Mal, you know, it's nice to see you. So Mal won the American Championships that year <laughs> <laughs> against Ashley Cooper. <laughs> uh, and, well, actually it was against Dick Savard. No? Was Coop? Oh, you couldn't beat Dick? <laughs> you did beat Dick. On oh, the semi, right, okay. Yeah, so Mal was unseated, beating Coop in the final, and they had a court next to the stadium, which was where people walked by after the matches were finished. And I was practicing on this court, and Mal, I didn't want to watch Mal, and Coop was pretty boring. So <laughs> I needed some work on my game, and I'm practicing, and people are going by, and they said, and they started to stop, and then they asked me a question. Are you Mal Anderson? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and they said, didn't you just win the United States Championship? Yes. <laughs> and what are you doing out here? And I said, I wasn't satisfied with my game. <laughs> <laughs> so then when I went up to the dressing room, and they had a bar up at the dressing room and cold beer on the tap. And everyone's congratulating me. Well done, Mal. Well done. Can I buy you a beer? <laughs> so it wasn't until about five or six beers later that Mal came up after the press conference down in the stadium. So I was happy Mal won the championship. <laughs> now this is a player should, that should be recognized here in Queensland. Here, here. It's badly needed. He was one of the uh, greatest ambassadors Australia has ever had overseas and uh, what a tennis game. So we need to get Mal on the books. Badly needed. Yep. Mal saying no. Uh, it's true. So uh, I think uh, that's next in line, did you think? <laughs> or are you taking a holiday? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Racy here from Fruit Park YouTube channel. We're here today with tennis great Roy Emerson, uh, who two years ago uh, at this time of the year opened the Roy Emerson Tennis Centre at Fruit Park. Um, and Roy, I know that you've been following the uh, Brisbane Tennis Trail. And I was wondering if you could. Uh, Give us a little bit of your feedback as to someone who should be in the tennis trail but isn't currently. Well, Peter, that's an easy one. Uh, Mal Anderson from, uh, from Queensland should, should, should have been def definitely uh, acknowledged for his tennis achievements a long time ago. Uh, he's been one of our greatest ambassadors around the world wonderful tennis player, a terrific guy, and uh, I was very happy to be in New York when he won the U.S. Uh, championship, uh, beating Dick Savard, unseeded, uh, and it, 
Mal is an ideal choice, and, uh, uh, and it's about time. It is. It, it surprises me that there hasn't been the appropriate and right opportunity has presented itself. Uh, I, I did think about um, having a rebound wall named after Mal, but I think Mal's achievements and his input into the tennis development has been so generous uh, that it didn't seem appropriate. So I'm hoping that something does come along to, uh, t to tribute Mel's huge efforts for tennis in Queensland. Well, he's done a lot with the coaching in, in Queensland, mm. you know, and played Davis Cup for Australia and uh, toured the world and, uh, and he was very unlucky and not, not to win a lot more major championships and uh, there couldn't be a better person if they could choose. You're right, there couldn't be. And with that, we'll say good afternoon and thank you.